Hi everyone, this is Crafty Decoria and today I'm bringing you another winter decor DIY. These can be used as candle holders as well you can display jewelry or even these would look great on a buffet for a dessert bar to display little cupcakes or little brownies, little cookies, anything that you can think of. So to begin the DIY, I'm going to start off with two Dollar Tree signs, and these are the trees. They also have snowflakes, and I had already recorded this tutorial, and as I said in a previous video, my SD card ended up getting corrupted, so I have to do the tutorial again, which I'm doing now. But when I originally did it, I used the snowflake signs. So at the end of the video, I will also show you what those look like. So now to begin, I'm going to take one of the tree signs and I'm going to cut it in half right down the center. So I've cut my sign in half. I also just took my utility knife and scraped along the edge of that center line where I cut and I did that with both halves just to give it a nicer, cleaner finish. Now I'm going to take my hot glue and I'm going to run a line of glue along the center of the solid tree. I'm going to take my first half, put that in place and let that dry. Once this is dried, I'm going to flip it around. Again, run a bead of glue along the center, take the second half, put that in place, and let that dry. Then I'm going to take my Rust-Oleum, and it's the Paint and Primer in White Gloss, and I'm going to give this two coats of paint. So I have glued my half pieces to the solid sign and now I have a full standing tree. Just as an extra step, I went ahead and I ran another bead of glue from the top to the bottom in each section of the tree just to give a little bit of extra strength so that the tree will stay adhered together. Okay guys, so I've just turned my camera around I want to apologize for the lighting. I'm in my addition right now and I don't have my lighting in place so I'm just using some construction lighting that's in the room and so it's pretty dim. But I really did want to refilm this video so that I could share it with all of you. But I promise once this addition is complete I will have better areas to film in and the quality of the videos will be much better. So now moving on, I've painted my tree with the two coats of the white paint and now I want to work on the base um, that the tree will be sitting on and what I will be using for that is this glass that I purchased at the Dollar Tree and this will act as the pedestal for the tree. So what I'm going to do is I have this silver metallic glitter glue and it is by Crafty Kids. Again, I purchased it at the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to, with my brush, just coat the inside of the glass generously with this glitter glue. Once the glue has dried, I'm going to take the same Rust-Oleum paint and primer in white gloss that I used to paint my tree, and I'm going to give it a very, very light coat. Um, enough to coat the glass, but I really want the glitter to come through so I will give it one light coat of paint and then we will move on. I have finished applying the glitter glue as well as the spray paint and it turned out absolutely beautiful. It is absolutely stunning. At first, I was just going to keep the glitter glue, but then applying that little bit of mist of white in the back just really makes the glitter pop. And it is beautiful. I'm so pleased with how it has come out. 
Okay, so now taking the same glitter, I'm going to apply it all over the tree to make it really sparkle. Okay, so now as my glitter glue is drying, I'm going to work on my mini wavy plates. Now the Dollar Tree carries these and they come in a pack of 12, which works out perfectly for this DIY. Being that there are four sections in the tree, I will be using three plates in each section and I will glue them one on top of the other, one at the top, one in the center, and one at the very bottom. Now to embellish these plates, I will be using some glitter stickers from the Dollar Tree and they are from Jot. If you cannot find the glitter stickers, you can always purchase the diamond wrap that the Dollar Tree carries as well. So once I have finished wrapping the wavy plates with the glitter stickers, then I will glue them onto the tree using the E6000 and hot glue. Now to place the glitter stickers on the plates, I will just be using the adhesive that's already on the glitter sticker. I won't use the hot glue because using that, the glitter stickers will not lay flat. So it seems that the glitter stickers adhere really nicely to the plastic just as they are. Okay, so I have finished wrapping all of my plates and before I can place the plates on the tree or glue them on the tree, I need to glue the tree to the glass, the bottom of the glass. So once I've done that, I will begin placing my plates. Now the bottom row will be actually sitting on the glass. The middle row will be in the center and then the top row will be just below or just about that first branch in the tree. So without showing you too much, I have all my plates glued into their place. But I wanted to show you that I did flip the whole piece upside down and then with all of the plates except for the ones that are glued to the bottom of the glass, I am now going to go with some hot glue and just fill in the gaps underneath just to make sure that those plates are really adhered good to the tree and that they're not gonna come off. everyone so here are the Dollar Tree sign tree and snowflake candle holder display decor piece and I couldn't be happier with how these have turned out okay so as I mentioned when I first filmed this tutorial I did do the snowflakes that it that you see to the left and right of the tree now those ones I did make more rustic 
and all I did was I instead of the glitter stickers I added jute twine to the plates as well as the vase it is an actual vase it's not a glass and you can find this all year round at least I do at my Dollar Tree but I thought it was just so fitting to go with the snowflake because as you can see it looks as though there are snowflakes or stars beveled into the glass and I just spray painted the inside with some metallic silver and I just think it looks so so beautiful so here's just a closer look with the jute twine and then at the very top I just added the Dollar Tree ornament and I just love how this looks and as you can see this one here I added some delicious cupcakes that I wish I could share with all of you and just to show how pretty it would look if you were doing a dessert bar and you placed this on it it's great because it adds some height so you can still add a lot of food underneath and it just looks pretty and then with the snowflake on the right of the tree I added the Dollar Tree gift tags and I absolutely love these gift tags they are so pretty and I just thought it was so fitting to display them on here being that it is a snowflake theme it just adds a really nice pop of color and then with the tree in the center as you can see I added the glitter stickers and what I did as I said I think I mentioned it in the clip once I glued these I then tipped the whole piece upside down because if you can see right here let me see if I you can see that the plate goes on an angle so what I actually did when I flipped it upside down I just filled in that cavity in the corner and that way I know that these are on here really nice and secure because especially if you are using these for little desserts you don't want them falling off and and wrecking your dessert so just a little added um, strength to the plates so that they stay nicely adhered to the tree and then I was pleasantly surprised when I placed these tea light candles on the tree here that two of them as you can see this one and this one actually change colors and I didn't even know that they had the tea light candles that did that so I was presently pleasantly surprised I think it looks really really cute and I just added a little bit of tooling I was looking for a specific ribbon but I couldn't find it so I just did this to show you you know dressing it up a little bit I can't tell you enough how wonderful the glass turned out it really is not picking up on camera but it is so glittery and especially when it gets a little bit darker and then the lights are flickering I thought I would be able to get the tutorial done last night to show you but my battery died and I just couldn't film finish filming the rest of it but it is so beautiful a, be a really nice and easy way to transform a Dollar Tree glass a really neat thing about using the glass and then especially when you apply the glitter glue is that you can actually place a string light set on the inside of the glass or another candle and then at night from top to bottom everything glows and it's just beautiful because it is daylight right now you can't see the candle in there but I will insert either a clip or a picture to show you how stunning it looks guys 
I'm so glad that I was able to redo this video because I really wanted to share it with all of you. I absolutely love how these have turned out and whether you're making these for yourself to display in your home or you want to make them to gift to someone, I think that they are absolutely beautiful and unique. So if you enjoyed this video and I so hope you did, please like, share and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And as always guys, you take care and I so hope to catch you in my next video. Bye bye.